Welcome to this new video about Galant Schematas. I'm Ricardus, a musicus practicus, and here on the web I share with you and all other musicians a lot of things about free music, harmony, counterpoint, composition, partimento, and in this video about Galant Schemata we talk about the print. Remember that for each video there is a PDF with all the examples, all the explanations, and all what you need for learning better Galant Schematas that you can download from my Patreon. About that, I really want to thank all my patrons because with their monthly support, they really help me and support my activity in creating these simple videos about harmony, early music, partimento and gun schematas for you. So, thank you very much to all my patrons and if you want to support my activity to help me in creating this video and get the access to a lot of extra content like improvisation elements, you can join my pattern with a really little monthly subscription but with a lot of benefits. So don't talk anymore and let's start with the printer. Welcome to this new video about Galen Schematas. I'm Ricardus Musicus Practicus and here on the web I share with you a lot of useful things about improvisation, harmony, early music, composition and all about early music. In the second video we talk about the printer that is the most galant response to a Romanesca. The printer comes from a bass that moves from the fourth degree to the first one, in this way. The second important element of the printer is like a melody that accompanies the printer in the upper voice, that is a melody in parallel thirds than the bass. So, this melody starts from the 6th degree and finishes to the 3rd degree, here, in this way. Ok, this is the basic of the printer, the starting point. So, the correct harmonization of the printer uh, with this parallel thirds is a 3-5 chord on the first note, that is F, that in this case we are in C major, so is F, the fourth degree of C major. The sixth chord, 3-6 uh, chord on the third degree, in this case E. Then the suspension 7-6, so with the third. And the resolution. But it is better if we have parallel thirds or tens in the upper voice, in this way. But it is correct also this. Imagine a trio sonata where the two violins change their position than of the bass, so all these two positions are correct. Another aspect and particular variant of the printer is that on the second degree, so in the penultimate bar, we can have a little leap to the fifth degree for making a better cadence in this way. And what doesn't change in the harmonization? Nothing, it's only a difference in the numeration, because if I play the same harmonization, only the number changes, but what happens in the upper voices is the same. Or with the parallel thirds in the upper voice, Okay, this kind of printer, as you can see, takes us from the fourth degree to the first one. So we can call this kind of printer not modulating printer. Because there is another variant of the printer that is from the first degree to the fifth degree. And this is useful for making a cadence or a modulation to the fifth degree of the scale, in this way. or with the 5 lip on the penultimate bar in this way here this is the fifth of the old 
keys, the fifth of C major, and the first degree of the new key, so the first of G major. The harmonization is in the two cases. In this way, we can also harmonize the sprinter with parallel thirds in the top voice. Okay, let's combine now the printer with the Romanesca. So, this is the Romanesca. And then on the fourth degree that belongs to the Romanesca, we start the printer at the same place. So the fourth degree, that is the last note of the Romanesca, is the same note that is the first note of the printer. Okay, let's play the, the bass. And now, Let's play a possible harmonization. When we combine the Romanesca and the Primer, there can be a lot of variants depending on the idea of the composer. One of the most spread variants we can find is the diminution of the value of the notes in the Primer like in this way. So, let's harmonize this passage. I find this kind of combination better because we have um, four bars, so it is equilibrated. We have like a question and an answer in this way. And now we can combine the Romanesca, the Primer and the Modulating Primer in the following way. Let's harmonize this passage. This is a good way for making a modulation from the first degree to the fifth degree. Another variant of the printer is what we can call expanded printer, because as you know, the printer starts from the fourth or the first degree of the scale and moves with a fourth leap descending scale in this way. And we can have a variant with a fourth leap in the penultimate bar. But we can find a particular variant of the printer with this leap, this fourth leap, in all these bars, in this way. And a good organization is the following. Okay. What we have been saying until now is the basic of the printer you have to know in major mode. Let's see now some examples taken from musical repertoires. The first example is from the sonata of Wodzicka, the same sonata we talked about in the video about the Romanesca. So we have the Romanesca. <laughs> And then the printer. As you can see, here the printer. Another example of the Romanesca Plus printer is from a Largo by Benedetto Marcello. This one. As you can see, we have a Romanesca. And 
The melody is composed like a question and an answer. Another example of the Romanesca plus the printer is from an andante of Castrucci. The particular aspect of this printer is that we have the melody, as you can see with the uh, black numbers, six, five, four, and three, but in the bass we don't have the specific movement of the printer, that is four, three, two, and one. We are in F major, so the first degree is F and the fourth degree is B flat. But we have a cadence, so Castrucci combines a cadence with the melody of the printer. But we can play this bass like a real printer. So. An important thing we have to know is that this, this schemata was a common language in the Gallant period. So they didn't think a lot about the name, the construction, the building of each pattern. It is like a natural way of talking of making a, a gallant speech. So as we will see in the other episodes, we can combine a lot of schematas and make a big number of beautiful commissions and combinations. Another example of the Ronesca plus the printer is from an adagio of Locatelli. <laughs> We are in E flat major, so we have the Romanesca 1, 7, 6, 3, and then the printer 4, 3, 2, and 5, and 1. So. This is a structure, and this is the Romanesca plus the printer by Locatelli. Another example is from a largo of a concerto by Leo. Also in this case we have the Romanesca and then the printer 4, 3, 2, 5, 1 with the notes of the melody of the printer. So, Six, five, four, and three. Combined in a particular way. Another example of the Romanesca plus the Pinger is from a trio sonata by Gallo. This is a really simple Romanesca plus the printer because we have the Romanesca in, in uh, G major. This is the Romanesca and then the printer. As you can see in this example we have a reduction of the value of the notes in the printer than in the Romanesca. Here an example of the expanded printer by Handel from a suite in G major. see in this example we have a do re mi that is another kind of pattern 
that can be combined on the Romanesca. So uh, when I talked about the combination of a lot of patterns, this is an example, a good example. We have the Do, Re, Mi, that is Do, Re, Mi, also thinking in solmization. So for that, it is really important solmization. All that followed by an expanded printer. This is the fourth degree of G major. Okay, let's go on. The next example is from a Partimento by Zingarelli. This is really simple. And the next example is really similar. It is from an exercise by Mozart for Barbara Ployer. So what happens in the upper voice is the same between the two examples, but the bass in the Mozart exercise leaves fifth down, fourth up, fifth down, fourth up. So the quint fold sequence comes from the printer. In this way. So let's see now the last example of the printer by Corelli and Alemanda from a violin sonata. case we have the Romanesca as we have the stepwise. In this case we have the Gallant Romanesca and then a cadence, not the typical movement of the printer that had been, but the bass movement of a cadence. But in the upper voice we have the melody of the printer. So we can consider this a combination between a cadence plus the melody of the printer. Did you enjoy this video? Thank you for watching it. Do you know that there are more exclusive contents for you on my Patreon? Yes, I have a Patreon where you can support my work in making more videos like that for you and receive new exclusive contents as a thank you every week. For example, with a little subscription, like a coffee a week, you can download all the didactic PDFs of my videos. Furthermore, you get the access to Improvisation Elements. Improvisation Elements is an exclusive Patreon series that consists in video tutorials for practicing improvisation at the keyboard. I upload new videos of Improvisation Elements series every week. Each video is based on a specific topic, like for example sequences, spiridionist cadences, exercises for diminution for the organ, the harpsichord, the piano, and more. For each video there is an annexed PDF, and by watching the videos of improvisation elements and downloading the PDFs, you can develop specific keyboard skills and become a better improviser. Check the link in the description to discover all the benefits you can get on my Patreon. A special heartful thanks to all those who are already my patrons for your important and priceless support. Thank you so much. And if you haven't joined my Patreon yet, we are waiting for you. You are welcome. So, have a nice day and see you over it.